for safety. Today we'll be teaching you about the brain basics to keeping your brain healthy through middle school and high school. We'll be focusing on smoking, bullying, bike safety, and pot. So hang in there and let's learn about your brain. Middle school and high school can be difficult and challenging times. Classes and friends are taking most of your time and it could be stressful. A lot of you might want to find your stress relief in what seems to be easy to find, cigarette smoking. You might know a lot of people that smoke who will tell you about the satisfying feeling of relief that cigarettes can bring. However, cigarettes can cause a lot of damage to your body and brain. If you think that lung cancer is the only likely result of smoking, you are wrong. The ingredients in cigarettes affect everything from the internal functioning of organs to the efficiency of the body immune system. Nicotine reaches the brain within 10 seconds after smoke is inhaled. It has been found in every part of the body. Carbon monoxide binds to hemoglobin in red blood cells, preventing affected cells from carrying a full load of oxygen. Cancer-causing agents in tobacco smoke damage important genes that control the growth of cells, causing them to grow abnormally or to reproduce too rapidly. That's from lung cancer close to 90% in men and 80% in women are caused by cigarette smoking. In eight hours, exceed carbon monoxide is cut out of your body. In five days, most nicotine is out of your body. In one week, your sense of taste and smell improves. In three months, your lung function has increased 30%. In 12 months, your risk of heart disease has halved. In one year, a pack a day smokers will save over $4,000. In five years, your risk of stroke has dramatically decreased. Cigarettes can also cause stroke, which is important in brain function. So be careful before deciding to start or continue smoking because every cigarette you don't smoke is doing you good. Did you know that each day an estimated 160,000 students in the USA refuse to go to school because they are bullied? Many more attend school in a chronic state of anxiety and depression. It is reported that 6 out of 10 American youth witness bullying at least once a day. Middle school and high school are the times of fitting in and finding out who you are and what you believe in. You are growing up and it could be hard to be confident and stand up for your beliefs. But bullying others or being bullied is not the answer and should be brought up with parents or a teacher if witnessed or experienced. Bullying can result in reluctance to go to school and truancy, headaches and stomach pains, reduced appetite, shame, anxiety, irritability, aggression and depression. Bullying affects views of identity, sense of belonging and often results in low self-esteem. The effects of bullying often continue many years in adulthood. It is very important to never engage in bullying others, realizing how much harm it could cause to the other person. At the same time, if ever bullied, don't be shy and talk to adults about it. If you, think, if you think that bullying will just stop one day by itself, you're wrong. Bullying can be expressed in three different ways. Physical, verbal and indirect by spreading rumors or telling stories. Even though sometimes it could be... Even though sometimes it could seem like bullying someone will help you fit in, stay away from it because of its consequences for the other person. On another end, if you're the one getting bullied or want to avoid ever being bullied, here are some ideas for you for what you can do. Walk with awareness, calm and confidence. Live in a positive, powerful way. Don't instigate negative moves or thoughts towards you. 
Set, set clear boundary with people around you, use a voice and speak up, and avoid name calling. If ever bullied, be persistent with asking for help. Bikes, we all have to use them at one point or another. Now, many of you don't have your driver's license, so bikes are essential in getting you from one place to another. But how many of you wear a helmet while riding your bike? I know helmets are so uncool, however, they are also really important in protecting your brain. Did you know that more than one third of all cyclist deaths occur among school aged children 5 to 20? Head injuries are also the most serious type of injury and the most common cause of death among cyclists. Studies have proven that bike helmets work to reduce head injury and finally 15 states have enacted bike helmet safety laws. I bet a lot of you are thinking, so what? Well, if you crash and are not wearing a helmet, you could seriously damage your brain. Your brain is partially made up of neurons, and these neurons, if damaged, are almost impossible to repair. Damage, is most, damage in general is most likely to occur in the frontal lobe. If damaged, you can suffer from symptoms such as difficulty talking, loss of fine motor movement, or trouble understanding the environment around you. Traumatic brain injury is one of the most serious results of not wearing a bike helmet. Can you imagine having trouble playing your favorite video game or not understanding the conversation happening in front of you? Brain damage is no fun, so wear a helmet and protect your brain. I know life can be crazy and confusing. Middle school and high school are the times when fitting in is more important than homework and safety. However, the choices that you make now will affect the rest of your life. Most of the com one of the most common drugs that you'll see your friends using in school is marijuana, which is also called pot, weed, grass, dope, a blood, a joint, or hash. Why is weed so great to smoke? It can cause a sense of euphoria. All stress and anxiety feel non-existent. The active ingredient that can cause pot to be addictive is called THC a substance that is quickly absorbed into your body. Most of the times this is called getting high or stoned and it, can, and it can last a few hours. Guess what? Pot is great, it's great, but it can cause brain damage. Well, it's not great, but. <laughs> um, it can cause developmental issues that interfere with the functioning skills, attention, memory, and language. Another, your brain is still developing in your teen years. That's why it's very important that it does so properly. Your, um, one of the parts of the brain that is damaged is something called the myelin a coating of the brain cells. This feature is important as it helps the brain properly send messages to different areas quickly. Plus myelin can cause sig signals to be sent much lower than normal. Other parts of the brains which are damaged with long term use apart are the hippocampus and amygdala, which can help with emotion and memory function. Pass on cannabis and your brain will thank you. In conclusion, what we want you to remember, kids, is that even though middle school and high school could be hard and challenging times, it is important to think about the effects of your actions. Bring as much positivity as you can to your life. It is important to stay healthy and take care of your brain, be optimistic, and make sure of the consequences of your actions.